Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're going to talk about fasting because Jesus talks about it in his Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 6, verse 16 following. And it's the third of those three acts of righteousness we've been journeying through, namely giving, praying, fasting. And, and for all three, Jesus counsels his disciples to be discreet about them, not to draw attention to themselves, to parade their holiness before other people, but rather to do so secretly between themselves and their Father to aim to please God and not to please others. The same is true of fasting today, where Jesus says this from verse 16 following, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show people they are fasting. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to people that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. So the same principle there, don't cash in fasting uh, for a quick buck, a social uh, kind of incentive, but rather seek to please God and keep it between you and him. So we need to be discreet. Uh, and there are many people in Jesus' day who were parading their fasting, evidently. Jesus tells another parable, doesn't he, of the, the Pharisee who prays aloud in the temple saying, Thank you, Lord, that I'm not like that sinner over there, for I tithe and uh, I, I fast twice a week. And Jesus compares him to the sinner who in the corner of the temple beats his breast and can't even look up to heaven and says, woe is me, I am a sinner. That's the man who is justified before God at the end of the day, Jesus says. And so we need to have that spirit of that man. Uh, we need to come in humility and awareness of our sin. And rather than use fasting as a, a, a means to congratulate ourselves or feel good, actually recognize it's, it's part of our worship and part of our, our discipline of humility. We need to be careful to guard it. And one way to guard it is to keep it secret between you and God and not parade it. Jesus says when you fast, not if you fast, and he himself practiced fasting and he taught his disciples to do the same, uh, especially uh, after he was taken from them. He talked of the bridegroom leaving and, and the party of his presence, uh, his immediate physical presence being over, and that was the time when his disciples would fast. You can see that in Matthew 9 verse 15. So his disciples are to fast. It's to be part of their regular routine, their habitus. And so this week, perhaps have a think about how you could build this habit into your habitus regularly. It's a great spiritual discipline that um, takes away our, our, the lusts of the flesh, helps us to grow in self-control through the Holy Spirit, aids our prayers, and helps us to focus again on Jesus.